Hello everyone, welcome to our first virtual class for today. Today it is Monday, May 11, and for today's class, I prepare a slideshow. Okay, this is our slideshow for today. As I said to you, today is Monday 11 of 2020. Well, for today, you will need your book number four. The subjects for today are phonology, reading, and STEM. Let's start with reading. Please go to your page 52. Do your best, write about it. Okay, in this page, you are going to practice your writing skills, okay? So please pay attention to my instructions. A blog is like an online personal journal. You can write about any topic and share what you know with other people. Look at the example. Then, write a blog entry. Add a catchy title and write the main idea in the first paragraph. Details in the paragraph that, that follow and a recommendation at the end. Okay, here you're going to create your personal blog, okay? So, you're going to write three paragraphs. So, the, this space is really small. So, you are going to write it in your optional pages or in a white piece of paper, okay? I want you to write a catchy title then you are going to write the, the, the main idea, then you are going to, to add the details in the second paragraph, and at the third paragraph, you are going to write your recommendations, okay? So it is very easy. You can write about whatever you want, okay? Well, I'll, uh, just you cannot write about reggaeton, okay? You don't have a lot to write about, about some reggaetoneros or girls that sing, okay? So you can write about a subject from the book. You can write about so, uh, World War II, the transfers of energy. So you have a lot of, of, um, of subjects to choose in your book. Once you finish, let's go to phonology, okay? Page 57, 5, 7. Using our words. Well, you are going to solve this page. So you already know what do you do you have to do in this page because we we always do a, a page like this, okay? So just listen to the to the instructions. Write the words from the word bank next to their correct synonym, okay? So you are going to need a dictionary, okay? Or you can Ask to your parents' permission to look for the synonyms on Google, okay? You can Google them. Use a dictionary to find the words that you don't understand, okay? You have 14 words and you have 14 options in the word bank, so you are going to write their corresponding synonym. Then you are going to write, what does the word seagull mean? You are going to, to look into the dictionary for the meaning of the word seagull. Once you finish, we're having a dictation, so grab your pencil, please. Go, 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 pause the video and grab your pencil. I will wait for you. Okay, now, let's start. Number one, weightless. Weightless. Number two, gliding. Gliding. Number three, Cosmonaut, cosmonaut. Number four, willing, willing. Number five, supposed, supposed. Six, launching, launching. Just a small remind you, I'm going fast, but you can pause the video every time that you need it. Number seven, frying it. Frying it. Number eight, soaring, soaring. Number nine, thrilling, thrilling. Number 10, succeeded, succeeded. Number 11, withstand, withstand. Number 12, training, training. 13, Seagull, 
seagull. And number 14, Voyager. Voyager. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's go to our next subject. Language. Please open your book in your page 96, okay? 96. Indefinite pronouns. Okay. Indefinite pronouns are those pronouns that replace a specific person or thing or amount um, or amount without saying exactly who or what they are, okay? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have 10 indefinite pronouns, okay? So they are anything, that means a thing of any kind, nothing, not a thing, something, a non-specific thing, some, a little bit, a few, many, several things, all, everything in a set, both, the one and the another, each, all individuals in a group, another, an additional thing, and other, a different one. Okay, now you are going to pause the video and you are going to write this chart in your optional pages, okay? But you are going to write a different example for each pronoun, okay? I want to see just a, a chart just like this one in your optional pages, but I don't want to see these examples, okay? You are going to think about some different examples and you are going to write them. Don't forget to underline or, yes, to underline or highlight the, the indefinite pronoun just like it is in your book, okay? Well, once you finish with this, you are going to solve the exercise on, on page 96. Look at the pictures below. Then, fill in the blanks in the sentences using the indefinite pronoun that bet best matches the picture, okay? So, with help from the words on the chart, so with help from the indefinite pronouns, you're going to complete those sentences, okay? Now, let's go to our page 97. Well, indefinite pronouns. Read the sentences. Write an, an appropriate indefinite pronoun on the line. Okay, you are going to read those sentences and you are going to write the proper indefinite pronoun. Teacher, where I'm gonna get them? Okay, you can get them from your page 96, okay? So that's everything that we're going to do in our page 97. Okay, now let's continue with our next um, subject, okay? Esteem. Please go to your page 152. 152. 152. Conservation of energy. Read and listen to the following text. Please pay me a lot of your attention because I'm going to read out loud the information. When energy is transferred, it is always conserved. This is called the conservation of energy. This means that it cannot be lost or destroyed. It cannot be made either. It can change into another types of energy. Collisions cause energy transfers. Kinetic energy can turn into sound and heat. It can be turned into other two types too. Try rubbing your hands together quickly. What did you feel in here? You hear a rubbing sound. You also felt your hands get warm. Yes, I felt my hands warm. Your hands' kinetic energy was turned into sound and heat. 
No energy was made or lost. This is how it is saved. Okay, there are many devices that transfers energy. A jackhammer turns electricity into kinect and sound energy. A spring turns potential energy into kinetic energy. A guitar turns kinetic energy into sound energy. In all these examples, energy is conserved. No new energy is ever made. It is just transferred into a different type. Okay, with help from this information, you are going to solve page 153. Exercise number one. Answer the following questions. You have five questions to solve. No, sorry. Yes, you have one, two, three, four questions to solve, okay? You, you are going to answer them with help from the reading or the information that I just gave to you, okay? Once you finish, in the space below, draw a picture of a collision. A collision, you can uh, um, draw a car crash or you can, well, you can draw whatever you want. Also, write the transfer of energy. Well, once, once you finish, it is time to do your homework, okay? You have four homeworks for today. Number one, reading page 52. But don't forget that that space, it is very small, so you are going to work in your optional pages or in a white piece of paper. Number two, phonology, pages 57 and 59. We already made 59, okay? It was our dictation. Homework number three, language, pages 96 and 97. Just a small remind, remind to you, those uh, pages are very easy, okay? And homework number four, esteem, pages 152 and 153. Thank you so much for your attention, okay? I, I hope to see you soon. Stay at home, wash your hands, eat your vegetables. Bye!